five x and y. These two are the factor. No, sir. Then five, then x, then y. That's all. That's all. Yes. Is one not a factor? Yes. Then five x is also a factor. Five y is also a factor. Five x y is also a factor. Five by five also we can get five x y, isn't it? Yes. X multiplied by something will be five x y. One multiplied by something will be five x y. Five x multiplied by y will be five x y. Five y multiplied by x will be five x y. Five x y multiplied by one will be five x y. So there are how many factors in total? Seven. Yes, sir. Seven. Understood. How to yes. find out? Take a screenshot of this. Second, write all the factors of 12x square. 12x square. Can you solve it? Yes. How? 12. 12x. X. 12x. 12x. One. One. Two. Is X square not a factor? Yes. Two, then six. three, three, then four, then six, then. Twelve. Yes. Twelve we yes. have written. Okay. Twelve So there are so many factors, isn't it? I don't think anything is left. X square. So we can also write one second. Two x. Isn't it? Yes. Three x. Four x. Six x. Then we can write two x square. Three x square. 4x square, 6x six six square, isn't it? Okay, so take a screenshot. Huh? 12x square also. 12x square. 12x square, yes. Anything left? No. Okay, so take a screenshot. So understood how to write the factors? Yes. Whichever number it may be, if it, if it is multiplied by something and we are getting this 12x square, then that is a factor of this, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Screenshot taken? Yes, sir. I'm clearing this thing. Now, do you know GCF? No, sir. GCF? And HCF both are same. HCF stands for highest common factor, and JCF stands for greatest common greatest factor. common factor. Okay. Oh, find the GCF of first two x square and twelve x square. Can you tell me how to find it? X square can be written as 2 into X into X. Yes. We are applying the same procedure as we found HCF before. Here only the variables are there, that's all. But we will write in that way only. 12 X square can be written as 2, two into, into, into X into X, isn't it? Yes. Now this 2 is common in both of them. Yes. This x is common in both of them. Yes. This x is also common in both of them. So the GCF or also called as HCF is equal to what? Six. 
six that one what we found in common 2 into x 2x equal to 2x square so how six what we told and how you got that so i thought that the remaining will be multiplied now on the proof yes sir okay take keep taking screenshot Can I clear this? Yes, sir. Okay. Next, find the GTF of six x cube y and eighteen x square y cube. Tamar, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know the full form of GCF? Sir, greater than common. Okay. Means GCF and HCF are the same thing. Your video is paused and audio is not available. Now you have to find the value yes, of GCF of six x cube y and eighteen yes, x sir. square y cube. Is GCF and HCF same? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now tell me how to find the GCF of six x cube y and eighteen x square y cube. Can you? Have you gone through this chapter, or has it been covered in your school, or uh, have I covered this any time in online class? No, sir, I don't remember. Okay, Nimisha, tell me how to find the GCF of six x cube y and eighteen x square y cube. So six x cube y equals to six x cube y equal to two into three. Two into three into x. Into y into y into y into y. Okay, now what to do? Now here two is common in both, so we can circle this. Two is common. Okay, then three is also common. Three is also common. Then, then x x is common. And one more x. One more x is common. And one y. One y is common. So GCF or HCF is equal to six x square y. Means whatever is common, we have to multiply them two into three into x into x into y. Then we write like this. Okay. Then the next step is to be written like what you are saying. Three to the six x square y. This is the greatest common factor, isn't it? Yes. Samarth, is it understood now? Yes, sir. Okay, take a screenshot. Next question will be for you. I am clearing the page now. Find the GCF of seven x twenty one x square and fourteen x. Y square. Now tell me how to do it. Sir, seven x is equal to seven into x. Okay. Twenty one x square is equal to seven into three. 
Okay, seven into three or three into seven? X into X. Good. Then fourteen X Y square. Sir, two into seven. Two into seven. Into X. Hmm. Into hmm. Y. And Y. Okay. Now. So now we'll circle the common. So first seven. Seven. So we will encircle seven in all. Then seven, seven, yes. seven. Anything else is common? X. X is also common in all three, isn't it? So X, X, and X. Then. So. In. Now we will write GCF is equal to, okay? Then two X to write here, two X. And which side is it right? right. Is seven into X. Seven into X. Why two X? Summer is too common among all. We have encircled so that it is easy for us, and we have encircled seven, not two. Isn't it? Understood. I said seven X. You told seven X. Okay. Then it's okay. Seven X. Understood. Take a screenshot. Next question for you, Nimisha. Find the GCF of Hello. Yes. Okay. Yes. So sir. GCF of 42. Namisha, this is for you. 42 X square Y Z and 63 X cube Y square Z cube. Now, can you tell me the answer that is GCF without finding all those things by seeing the terms? Can you guess what can be the common term in that? Yes. How? Tell me. So by doing it in mind. Uh -huh. How? First, we have to find. Like, so seven, six we have to compare the numbers first. 63. Huh? Seven, six are 42 and seven, nine are 63. So okay, seven, is seven is common. And among six and nine also something is common. That is three. Yes. Sir. Okay. 7 3 is 21 and 21 2 is 42 and 21 3 is 63. So yes. 7 into 3 is common for the number. Now x now, square x and x cube. x square will be common. x square. Now among y and y square. y is common. y. z and z cube. z. z. So this is our answer. That's all. So you can do it yes. without solving all that, isn't it? But if you are told to find the GCF, then you have to find in that way only. But afterwards, you have, when you have to do it quickly, then you can use like this also. Okay. But you have to practice for that. Now, next for uh, summer, you also have to say in the same way GCF of 12 AX square, 6 A square X cube, and 2 A cube x to the power 5 equal to summer.
Sir, first three, uh, sorry, two is common. Yes, good. So then A. Yes. And X square. Yes, good. Okay, I'm telling this. Next one, Nimisha, 9x square, 15x square, y cube, y cube, 6x, y square, and 21x square, y square. So, first, 3 is common. 3 is common, good. Yeah. Then x square is common? Sure. No, sir. X is common. Then? Then y square. No, sir. Y. Y. No, sir. Only 3x. Samar, is it right? Yes, sir. Good. Okay, so this topic is understood. You can practice afterwards. Well, let me find some new questions. Now, if you are told to factorize. Three X plus 15. So do you know the meaning of this? How to factorize three X plus 15? Nimisha, Samar, anyone? So what I is write... common among 3x and 15? Sir, 3. So this can be written as 3 into x plus 5. So this yes. is called factorization. We have to find the common factors. Okay? Yes. Suppose you are given factorize 2x square plus 5x. So this can be written as what is com common among both? X. X into 2X plus 5. Yes. If it is written 3X square Y minus 6XY square equal to? 3 is common and X uh, is common and Y is common. Into X minus 2Y. Isn't it? Yes. Then 6x cube plus 8x square y equal to? 2 is common. 2 is okay. common. Anything else? x square. x. x square or x? Six square. Equal. 3x plus 4y, isn't it? Okay. Now you have to factorize 12x cube y to the power 4 plus 16x square y to the power 5 minus 4x to the power 5 y square equal to summer. So four is common. Four is common, okay. X x x cube. X cube is common, sure. Sorry, x square, x square. Mm, then oh, y square. Y square. So four threes are twelve x and y square plus four and y cube. Minus x cube, not y. That's all. Isn't it? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, this is understood clearly. Yes. Okay, then yes, I'm clearing sir. this. Now, next type of question. Factorize. 7 into 
2x plus 5 plus 3 into 2x plus 5 equal to so what is common among these both this one and this one 2x plus 5 so we can write 2x plus 5 here in bracket isn't it and then what is left this into plus 7 plus 3 into this isn't it yes equal to we can write 2x plus 5 into 10 or you can write it as 10 into 2x plus 5 plus four. that's all we have to find the common factor and keep it outside the bracket okay take a screenshot Next one, x, x plus 2, okay, into y plus x plus 2 into x equal to, tell me how to do it. So, hmm. x, y, x, y. Wrong. So, Nemisha, uh, x plus 2. Yes, x plus 2 is common among both the terms. And then we can y write plus y plus x. Or you can write it as x plus y also. Or you can write it as x plus y into x plus 2. Or we can write it as x plus 2 into x plus y. Isn't it? Take yes. a screenshot. Then if you are asked 5a into 2x plus 3y minus 2b into 2x plus 3y equal to summer. Tell me how to do it. So 5a minus 2b. 5a minus 2b. Into 2x plus 3y. Nimisha, is it right? So that will be also in bracket. Yes, this 5a minus 2b will be also in bracket because 5a is common for 2x plus 3y and then minus 2b is also common for 2x plus 3y, isn't it? Otherwise, the meanings will be changed and your answer will also be totally wrong. Okay, Samar? Okay, sir. Take a screenshot fast. I'm clearing this and taking screenshot doesn't mean that you have to see the answer. You have to write the questions and do the answers yourself and then match the answers. That's all. Okay. Don't see the whole solution. 8 into 5x plus 9y square plus 12 into 5x plus 9y nimisha equal to so 5x plus 9y is common 5x plus 9y in bracket then 8 plus 12 8 plus 12 no how anything you want to add so yes 8 into 5x plus 9y then plus 12. Yes, now it's okay. Because here it was 5x plus 9y whole square and only 5x plus 9y we have taken as common. So 5x plus 9y in bracket one is left, isn't it? Yes. Okay. You can also write it as equal to what? 5x plus 9y into 8 fives are 40 plus 72 y plus 12 isn't it now is there anything co in common 40 x plus 72 y plus 12 nothing is common 
फोर यस फोर इंटू टेन एक्स प्लस एटी वाई प्लस थ्री जनरेट और वी कैन ब्रिंग फोर हियर फोर इंटू फाइव एक्स प्लस नाइन वाई इंटू टेन एक्स प्लस एट वाई प्लस थ्री ओके टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट फास्ट Now I will not be telling you to take the screenshot. You have to automatically take all the screenshots. Okay, that is self-understood. I am clearing this page. Next question: Y minus x in bracket into a plus x minus y in bracket into b equal to. Nimisha, can you try? So a y. Ah, uh, one second. Ah, Namisha. A y. A y. No, Samar. Anything you want to add? See, we want we have been given y minus x, but we want x minus y. So what can be done? We can write it as x minus y and negative sign can be given here with a sign as it was. Then x minus y into b. Is it understood? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sir. One second. I will be back. हाँ यस नाउ व्हाट टू राइट हियर सामर सर एक्स माइनस वाई इस कॉमन यस तो बिन ब्रैकेट देन माइनस सर माइनस ए प्लस बी और वी कैन राइट इट एस एक्स माइनस वाई इनटू बी माइनस ए जंट इट यस ओके देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन और निमिषा नाइन इंटू ए माइनस टू बी होल स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स इंटू टू बी माइनस ए निमिषा सन हाँ टू बी माइनस ए बी माइनस ए To the power minus two. To be minus the whole square. You want to write minus two. Minus two. Means that the power will be minus two. Why? Who told you this? If you are confused in square, then you can easily do the other thing. Don't change anything here. Change on the next side. Let it be a minus two b square only, and whatever you want to change. Now here, what can we write? We can do this plus as minus yes. minus six into a minus two b. So please apply your mind here. If you are confused, then do where you are confident, isn't it? Now what can we write in here? A minus two b in common. A minus two b in bracket, isn't it? Yes. Into Nine, nine. Hmm. plus a minus two b. No, into a minus two b. They are all multiplied. Nine into a minus two b into a minus two b. How plus is coming in between? Yes. Minus six. That's all. Now, if you want, you can elaborate that this. Let it be a minus two b only, and right here nine a minus eighteen b minus six. Isn't it? Now can we take anything common in that bracket, big bracket? 
so three. 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 So three will be written here. Three a minus six b minus two. That's all, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, I will be clearing this page for next question. This is over. I'm clearing this. Next question is x minus two y whole square minus four x plus eight y equal to summit. Any idea how to do it? Nimisha. Yes, sir. What to do? Tell me. No, no, sir. Here x minus 2 by whole square will be written as it is. Now minus 4 is common among all. So x minus plus 2y. Can we write like this? X plus 2y is coming then. In minus 4x. No, no, no. This will be minus only. So it is plus minus 2y, isn't it? So x minus 2y can be taken as common outside. And what is left? x minus 2y minus 4 equal to, we can write it as x minus 2y into x minus 2y minus 4. Any doubt in this? So this was little bit tricky, that's all. But the formula is same, logic is same. Isn't it? I'm sure you are taking screenshot yourself. Clearing this. 2a plus 6b minus 3 into a plus c b whole square equal to now what can be written here nimisha samar sir in 2a plus 6b hmm. 2 is common Two will be taken as common, so a plus three b is here. Good. Minus three into a plus three b whole square equal to now a plus three b is common among both. Then it so we can write here two minus three into a plus three b bracket close is equal to a plus three b in bracket as it is into. 2 minus 3a minus 9b, isn't it? I am clearing this page now. x plus y into 2x, 2x plus 3y minus x plus y into x plus 1. Nemisha. So here we can take we can take I know but what to take? x plus y as common. Then why are you in so doubt? 2x plus 3y and what is left minus x plus 1 yes, or it can be written as x plus y into 2x plus 3y minus x minus 1 yes. equal to x plus y into 2x minus x is x yes. Yes. plus 3y minus 1. Yes, can we write like this? Yes, sir. Okay. Next question for Kamar.
एक्स प्लस वाई इन टू टू ए प्लस बी माइनस इन ब्रैकेट थ्री एक्स माइनस टू वाई इन टू टू ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू सर टू ए प्लस बी कॉमन ओके टू ए प्लस बी इज कॉमन देन एक्स प्लस y can be written and here what is left minus 3x minus 2y is it bracket close equal to 2a plus b will be as it is in bracket we are going to write x plus y minus 3x plus 2y is it equal to 2a plus b 3y huh? 3y 3y Okay, minus two a plus three y, or you can write it as two a plus b into three y minus two x. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Clearing this next question. x square plus x y plus eight x plus eight y equal to. Now here, what can be done? Any idea, Nimisha? Sir, so we can take x as common. Okay. Then uh, into eight x. Eight x. Why not here we can take x as common and write here x plus y yes, and eight common here and x plus y. It is so simple. Why to make it so complex? Now here x plus y is common and in bracket what is left? X, x plus eight. Understood? Yes. Sir. Now next question for Samar. Fifteen x y minus six x plus ten y. Minus four equal to Samar. Sir, x can be taken uh, common. Only x, nothing else. Three also, sir. Three also. Okay, three x into five y minus two, isn't it? And here, what can be taken as common? Sir, two. Plus two into five y minus two. Anything else? So three x plus two in bracket. Three x plus two in bracket then into five y minus two. That's all, isn't it? Okay, I will yes. be clearing this. Next question fifteen. A B plus fifteen plus nine B plus twenty five A equal to Nimisha. Tell me how to do it. So here fifteen can be taken common. Okay, fifteen. Then into into A B plus one. Plus here, what can be taken as common? So, Amar, any idea? See, here we have to write it in the way where we can take common, like fifteen A B. Plus nine B. I am writing here. Suppose we have to try. Suppose hit and trial method by rearranging them. Okay. So here, what can be taken as common? Three B. So here it will be five A plus three, isn't it? And here also let us write five A plus three and check it if something can be taken as common here. If we are taking here three, this is twenty five A, isn't it? 
this will be five a means if we are writing five outside, sorry, not three, five here, then five five the twenty five a and five into three is fifteen, isn't it? Or we can write here three b plus five into five a plus three. Any doubt in this? No. So you have to rearrange them and check whether something can be taken as common or not. Okay. So these type of questions are very important. Please practice them. Okay. One more question I will be doing of this type only. I am clearing this page. N minus seven plus seven L M minus L M N equal to Tamarth. So we will rearrange and write N minus L M N. N minus L M N. Why? Why only this? Not anything else. Minus seven. Why you have written L M N only? Why not seven or seven L M? Nimisha, anything you want to say? So now we can take seven as common. So we can write after that eleven. Here we can take n as common in both because there are only two terms which are having n, isn't it? Yes. So n minus l m n then minus seven plus seven l m. Okay, equal to n into one minus l m. Can we write like this? And here also let us write one minus l m and check whether anything can be taken as common here. Here we can take minus seven as common. Yes. So minus seven plus seven l m, isn't it? Equal to n minus seven into one minus l m. Okay, understood. Any doubt in this? Yes, sir. No, sir. Okay. Now I'm clearing this. A x square plus b y square. Plus b x square plus a y square equal to. Now how to do it, Nimisha? So a x square. Huh. Plus b x square. Okay. Plus a y square. Okay. Plus b y square. Plus b y square equal to. So now we can take x square as common. X square into a plus b. No, yeah, and here also a plus b plus y square equal to x square plus y, plus y square into a plus b. Into a plus b. Understood? Yes. Okay. Yes, now next question. A x minus a y plus b x minus b y equal to what can be written here? Sir, a x plus b x. Why? And we take a into x minus y common here. Here we are getting a common in the first two terms only, no? Can we have to try first from that? Now here, if we take plus b as common, that will be x minus y. Now x minus y can be taken as common, isn't it? Into a plus b. Any doubt in this? No. So first try if easy methods can solve our issue, isn't it? Then only go for complex methods. Now, if you are given a cube x plus a square into x minus y, x minus y minus a into y plus z minus z. Okay, and how to do it?
if you are in doubt, uh, elaborate all of them. Okay, you can write it as a cube x plus a square x minus a square y minus a y minus a z minus z is it equal to now let us write from here here we can take a square x square is it so here we are getting x plus one yes isn't it okay now here we can write minus a y into a minus one okay and here if we are taking a as common x plus one is nowhere okay now here let us take as minus z or plus z here if we are writing a minus one then here we have to take minus z minus z into minus one will be plus z so we can take minus z as common and a plus one if we are writing here that will be minus z okay we can write in this way also ha huh. There will be a square x or a x square. A square. Okay, here you are telling. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. One second. This. This will be a square x. Good. A square x. This will be a. Uh, one second. Now here we will have to write a, isn't it? If we are taking a square x, then here we have to write a x. Yes. No, only a. Then it will be a cube x, na? Only a is to be written here, isn't it? Now if we are writing as a plus one, then a square x into a is a cube x, and plus one means plus a square x. So a plus one is there, isn't it? Now we can see that a plus one is here also. And the same a plus one is here also in this one, isn't it? So let us take a plus one as common. We can do that. A square x minus z we will have to write, and whatever is left is to be written here, isn't it? Yes. Equal to now a plus one. If we would have been having a plus one here, that would have been easy. One second, let me check. Yes. Here will be a plus one, not a minus one. Minus a y into a plus one will be solving our issue. Understood? Once again, hello. Yes, sir. Okay, a plus one yes. is in the first term also, second term also, and third term also, isn't it? So let me redo it again. Okay, so one mistake can be very much negative for us for finding the solution, isn't it? Equal to. Now here a plus one can be taken as common. Now what can be written? A square x. Minus a y minus z equal to a plus one into a square x minus a y minus z. You can leave here only. Okay. Understood. Sir, How to solve? Ah. Huh? Sir. Huh? Sir, in this bracket we can take a also common. Yes, you can take a also common, but it is not solving our issue. You can also write it as or. Okay, that will be the best way to write. I used to write this way only when I was in doubt what to write. Here you can write a into a x minus y minus z. Okay, so both ways can be written. So if you are in doubt what to write, you can write both this or this, isn't it? Okay, understood. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's all for today. Practice such questions, and then these are the basics. Then we will move to the more advanced questions in this chapter. Okay. And this is really very interesting. If you take interest in that. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much. Bye. So thank you. Welcome. Bye bye.